We'll take a look at the UK weather prospects for the week ahead in a moment, but I hope you don't mind if we take a quick excursion around the other side of the world, first of all. You'll have seen the reports earlier in the programme about developments in the livestock industry in Australia. And actually, farmers here have been having a pretty hard time of it over the last couple of years with a rather severe drought. It's all down to the El Nino weather phenomenon in the Pacific, but that has now faded away and right on cue the rain has returned to much of eastern Australia and Tasmania. These are the sort of amounts we've seen recently, the very pleasantly named Friendly Beaches, seeing a four-day total of around 180 millimetres. Now, I've been seeing quite a bit of rain back home as well, of course. It seemed only a couple of weeks ago we were wondering where the next bit of rain was going to come from. Now we're wondering when it's going to stop a rather unsettled week ahead. This was the picture on Tuesday across the London area. We've seen skies like this across many parts of the UK, of course. Hailstones falling out of those uh, thunderstorms as well, giving marble-sized hailstones. In fact, we saw a report of that from the Berkshire area. But in between the showers, we have had some chilly nights. In fact, there was a bit of frost around through the middle part of the week under uh, clear skies, so that's not been uh, terribly good news for growers. But as far as the week ahead is concerned, no risk of frost at all because it's going to be, well, first of all, rather too windy, but also those winds coming in from a mild southwesterly direction. And in fact, by the end of the week, we could well be looking at temperatures up around 20, 21 degrees across that southern part. Further north, temperatures still about the average for the time of year because here it does stay rather unsettled with more cloud and also more rain. So overall, we have got another rather unsettled week in prospect, I think. We're all going to see rain at one time or another. It'll stay quite breezy as we saw, but uh, drier and warmer in southern areas towards the end of the week. And as I say, frost looking very, very unlikely now. We're just about getting out of the season anyway in the middle part of May. But very unsettled, and this is why. Low pressure in charge at the moment. That's today's picture. That's tomorrow's picture. It doesn't change a great deal, as you can see. So feeding more showers or longer spells of rain in all the while. And plenty of those showers around during today. Any breaks in the cloud, fairly short-lived, I think. So sunshine very much at a premium through the rest of today. And always the risk of catching one or two of those heavy showers. But even so, temperatures aren't doing too badly in between the showers. About average for the time of year, so 14 to 17 degrees but a rather brisk wind coming in from the southwest fairly mild overnight because we'll keep a fair amount of cloud i think in most places and a good breeze coming in from the southwest as well so lowest temperatures around about eight or nine degrees typically but to start the day tomorrow it's really again the midlands eastern parts of england perhaps eastern scotland that stand the best chance of getting off to a dry start that southeast corner kent and sussex particularly a little on the cloudy side with some patchy ranges to start with that'll move away but shout from the word go further north and west one once again, it's a familiar picture, this, becoming pretty widespread as the day goes on. Temperatures much the same as we've seen over the last couple of days. Slight change on Tuesday. This is a little ridge of high pressure, this bump in the isobars here. Once that comes in, it'll tend to kill the showers off. Unfortunately, it'll be late in the day before it really makes its presence felt. So we still have to talk about some showers developing, I think, through the morning, especially across eastern parts of the UK. But a much better day in prospect, I suspect, for Northern Ireland. Drier brighter and those brighter skies spreading to many areas as the afternoon goes on. Now Tuesday marks the start of the Chelsea Flower Show as well of course and uh, also it may be 